Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on how to play Paul McCartney style finger picking chords. These are must know chords if you plan to learn Blackbird. The guitar is tuned standard E A D G B E. Our first chord is going to be a G major chord played this way. I'm placing my ring finger on the third fret on the low E string and I'm picking the B string and the low E string like this for that G chord. An A minor 7 chord will be played this way just by putting one finger on the first fret on the B string and plucking the strings this way. That was plucking the A string and the B string. The next chord is G slash B. I'm placing my middle finger on the second fret on the A string and my ring finger on the B string third fret and I'm plucking the A and the B string like that. The next chord is a high G. We're going to have to go all the way up to the 10th fret on the A string and the 12th fret on the B string. And we're going to strum the A string and the B string again. Now, during any chord we play, we might sound the G string as well. Okay. And that's a G chord at the 10th fret. Our next chord is a C major chord played that way. I have my first finger on the A string, 3rd fret, and my ring finger on the B string, 5th fret. And I'm going to strum this this way, pulling on the A string and the B string and I'm going to go from that chord to a C sharp diminished chord by taking this middle finger and moving it to the A string fourth fret and bringing this finger all the way down to the G note on the third fret on the high E string and I'm going to strum that chord this way. Okay, I'm strumming from the A string and the high E string. I'm going to move to a D chord by going to the 5th fret on the A string and the 7th fret on the B string and strumming it this way. I'm going to move from there to a D sharp diminished chord by bringing in the middle finger to the A string at the 6th fret and bringing my first finger down to the high E string and I'm going to strum that chord this way. That's D sharp diminished. I'm going to move to an E minor by raising my two fingers by half step to the seventh and eighth fret on the A string and B string. That's E minor. My next chord is going to be an E minor major 7. I've got my E minor and I'm going to remove the middle finger from the A string and replace it on the A string with the first finger at the 6th fret and leave my other finger where it was. That is E minor major 7. We're going to play a B flat 6 chord by placing our fingers at the 1st fret on the A string and the 3rd fret on the B string, like this. 
that's B flat 6. We're going to take that same form up to fret 8 for an F chord. Next is a C minor chord. Our C was like this, and our C minor will be made by moving that finger down like that. That's the A string, 3rd fret, and the B string, 4th fret. The next chord is A7. The ring finger on the 2nd fret on the B string. And we're strumming the B and A string. Next, the middle finger goes to the first fret on the B string for a D7 suspended 4. And we're going to strum the D string and the B string for that. That's D7 suspended 4. And friends, those are all the chords we're going to be needing for this tutorial. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.